Well, you've been asking us your heart-related questions on Facebook and Twitter all morning, and now Dr. Scott Davis from Baptist Health joins us to answer some of those. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Good. This is a, an important topic, and we were just having a conversation yeah. in the break, a break. I think it's something that there are questions that arise for all of us at some point in our lives regarding our heart. Sure. I mean, you know, we, we go through our day-to-day, -day, but we'll notice twinges. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll have little episodes where, you know, my arm felt funny last night, and then, or I, I was noticing, a, you know, I was at the shopping center the other day and my chest started bothering me. So mm -hmm. we never want to ignore symptoms. Right. The thing I tell folks, not all chest pain is heart pain, but if you ever have any concern, call us at 1-888-BAPTIST or go see your primary care doctor and, and let's sort it out. Never ignore symptoms. There are some easy tests that can be done out there to answer some basic That's questions. Right. That's okay. right. So let's start with our questions. Okay. First one comes from Laura and she asks, why are the symptoms for heart attacks so different from those of men um, compared to women and why uh, do they cover so many more areas in the female body? Good so question. Yeah, so here's the thing. The, the majority of our information about cardiovascular disease came out of the 50s, 60s, and early 70s when we emphasized our studies in the VA population, the Veterans Administration Hospital experience. So it was, you know, a part of the industrial military complex. We had a captive audience in the military personnel, and that's who we were able to study. That's who uh, the doctors were able to get information from as far as, you know, stress testing and, and, and the way that the disease process progressed. Well, as you can imagine, 80, 90 percent of that was mostly men. So as then we've evolved in our medical knowledge, we've had to expand our scope and understand, well, women get heart disease just as commonly as men do. You know, more women will die from heart disease than breast cancer, than, you know, any other disease process. But it it doesn't always present itself in the same manner. In other words, the way a female, the way a woman might describe her symptoms may be a little bit different than what a male or a man may describe. So the typical elephant on the chest going to the arm symptom, a woman may describe it a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. It may be, well, I've just been noticing I haven't been feeling as good. Mm -hmm. I've been more short of breath. I've, and so any time that we you know, listen to a female, listen to a woman tell us symptoms, we do need to perk our ears up and pay attention and tease out a little bit more specifics about, you know, what what, what those symptoms are like. And she mentioned like. in other parts of the body, too, there are symptoms right. for women. That's right. And so it may not be just the classic, you know, somebody chest, pressing yeah. on the chest. It may just be, you know, I've been noticing some, sh some shortness of breath. I've been having it in my back. Uh. Uh, you know, it's, it's between my shoulder blades. And so the, the it, it, it's still the same process, but the symptoms, the presentation, is a little bit different and it's our job as physicians to pay attention to that and ask a little bit more probing questions about do you notice it in the context of exertion is it when you walk up a flight of stairs mm -hmm. or you're trying to bring in the groceries or you know it's an exertional kind of thing so uh, f find out more details about the symptoms. Okay real quickly my brother had a bypass two years ago and a month ago one of those arteries collapsed they put three stents in another artery so I guess he's asked is there any meds or food that can help him? Right so the, the emphasis here is you know when people have had some kind of bypass surgery, the same thing that caused them to have bypass surgery, mm -hmm. you know, clogged up artery, can happen to the bypass graft. So we don't need to be, uh, have a false sense of security that, you know, I've had bypass surgery so I can not worry about it anymore. So, you know, you need to watch your diet, you need to stay on your cholesterol medicines, keep your blood pressure under control. It's just as important then as, as it is before you get disease. Well, we could certainly spend much more time on these questions. A lot of you had them. You can always call Baptist at 1-888-BAPTIST-EASY. Is that that if you're uh, if you do have another question or you're interested in getting set up with one of those tests dr. Scott Davis thanks so much good to see you. as always good to see you we're headed off to a break we've got more coming up right after this